Solving Equations. This is a review of part one and two. In today's lesson, students will solve equations in which they decide whether they have to add or subtract a number from both sides using integers. Using what? Very good. So today what we're going to do is we're going to be solving some equations where you have to add a number to both sides or you have to subtract a number from both sides. You need to decide. And you make that decision based on what number is next to x. Based on what? What number is next to x? Okay, because whatever number is next to x, you're going to do the opposite of. You're going to do the what? The opposite of. Okay? So, when you're working also with integers, you always remember the integer song. So let's just review what it is. Okay, I know you've probably heard it a hundred times. Let's go with 101. Ready, set, go. Same signs add and keep, different signs subtract. Keep the sign of the higher number, then you'll be exact. Very good. Okay, so let's read equation number one. It says x minus 2 equals 6. It says what? x minus 2 equals, gotcha, negative 6. Okay, so okay, to start our equation, to start solving it, you always have to separate both sides by drawing a t. So we're going to draw a t. We're looking for x. Now here's where we make our decision. What number is next to x? See, I circled x, right? Yeah, I did. So what number is next to it? What number is this? It's negative 2. Okay. Then you ask yourself, what is the opposite of negative 2? It is positive 2. So we're going to add 2 to both sides of the equation. And just to help you, I make the positive numbers blue and the negative numbers red. Okay, so let's start solving our operations. On this side of the equation, we're working with negative 2 plus 2. Minus 2, sorry, negative 2, and positive 2 make 0. Bring down the x. Okay, so now we're trying to figure out, well, what is x equal? Okay, what is x equal? We have a negative 6 and a positive 2. Do they have different signs? Are they different colors? Yes, so you say different signs subtract. So we're going to subtract 6, take away 2, and we're going to keep the sign of the higher number. The bigger number is 6, right? 6 is bigger than 2? Okay, what number, well, sorry, what sign is next to 6? It's negative. So let's subtract 6, 5, 4. Very good. So x equals a negative 4. We're going to check our answer. We're going to check this value by using the original equation, which is x minus 2 equals negative 6. So let's substitute negative 4 in the place of x. What does substitute mean? It means putting a number in the place of a letter. Oops, let's try that again. It means putting a number in the place of a letter, okay? So we have what value for a x? x is negative 4, right? So is negative 4 minus 2, does that give you negative 6? Are these the same signs? Ne negative 4, negative 2? Yeah, so you add them. 4 plus 2, keep the sign, is negative. That is correct. All right, let's try the next one. Okay, let's try equation number two. It says four plus x equals a negative eight. What does it equal? Negative eight. Now, we're gonna start to solve this equation by drawing a t to separate both sides. Okay, we're looking for what? We're trying to solve for x. Okay, what is x? Four plus some number gives me negative eight. All right? Now, look at the number next to x over here. See it? The number next to x? Okay. What number is this? Is it positive or negative? It's positive 4, right? So the opposite would be negative 4, so we're going to subtract 4 from both sides. So positive 4 and negative 4 make 0. You're going to bring down the x. Now x will equal negative 8 minus 4. Okay, this is really negative 8 and negative 4, right? Do they have the same signs? Yes. So we say same signs add and keep. What do I say? 
same signs, add and keep. So we're going to keep the negative. We're going to add now. Okay, we're going to add 8 and 4. Okay, 8 and 4. So 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So the answer is negative 12. X equals negative 12. So remember the original equation is 4 plus X equals negative 8. We're going to check our value by substituting negative 12 in the place of X. So is 4 minus 12? Does that give you negative 8? Is that true? These are different signs, right? Different signs subtract. 12 take away 4 is 8, and the sign of the bigger number is negative. So you say 12. Minus 4 is 8. That's what I just said. But the bigger number is negative, so guess what? The answer is negative 8. Very good. Okay, read equation 3 with me. It says x minus 3 equals negative 9. So the first step is to make a t. We're looking for what is x. Okay, we're trying to solve for x. So now we're going to decide. Okay, look at the number next to x. It's negative 3, right? Negative 3. What is the opposite of negative 3? It's positive 3. Very good. So here you're adding 3 to both sides. Whatever you do to one side, you have to do to the other. So let's do the operations on this side. A negative 3 and a positive 3 make 0. So we cross it out. Bring down the x. Okay. What is x equal? We have a negative 9 and a positive 3. Oh! Same signs or different signs? Different signs, right? So different signs subtract. So we're going to subtract 9, take away 3. But we're going to keep the sign of the higher number. The higher number is 9. Yep. Is this a negative 9? Yes. So because it's negative, you keep the sign. 9, take away 3, because you're subtracting, is 9, 8, 7, 6. So x equals negative 6. Let's check our answer. Remember the equation was x take away 3 equals negative 9. Substitute negative 6 in the place of x. Is negative 6 minus 3, does that give you a negative 9? Are these the same signs? Negative 6, negative 3, same? Yes. Add 6 plus 3. Keep the sign. That is correct. It is negative 9. Okay, very good. Let's read our last example together. It says 5 plus x equals negative 3. All right. So we start by drawing a T to solve for X. What are we solving for? X. Circle X. Now, look at the number that is next to X. What number is this? What is it? It's 5, right? Is it positive 5? Yes, it's blue. It's positive. If there's no sign, you can assume it's positive. What is the opposite of positive 5? It is negative 5. Remember, you're always playing the opposite game. What is the opposite of the number next to X? So subtract 5 now from both sides. Negative 5 is the same as subtracting 5. All right. So now let's do the operations. A positive 5 and a negative 5 make ah, 0. Bring down the x. What is x equal now? You have a negative 3 and a negative 5. Oh, are they the same signs? Yes, so same signs. Add these numbers and keep the sign. Okay, so you're going to keep the sign. It's negative. You're adding 5 and 3. 5, 6, 7, 8. So the answer or the value of x that we found is negative 8. Let's check our answer. We have 5 plus x equals negative 3. That's the original equation, right? Up here? Okay. So we're going to substitute negative 8 in the place of x. Is 5 plus a negative 8? negative 3? Hmm. Remember, you have a positive 5 and a negative 8. Are they different signs? Yes. So different signs subtract. Keep the sign of the higher number. What's the higher number, 8 or 5? It's 8. And 8 is negative. So when you subtract 8 minus 5, you do find negative 3. Go ahead and get that down. Very good.